too bad. All right, today we got a cool episode for you. So I planted potatoes a while back, it was about three months ago, just buried some old rotting potatoes. It was a russet potato. And let's go over here, I'll show you. Pumpkin, show us where the potatoes are. So right over here, you can see there's a potato plant right in front of me. It looks like it's pretty old and dying. So once it gets to the point where it looks pretty unhealthy, like this, it's kind of, looks like it's starting to die back. It's about time to harvest. Right in here is where I buried the original potato about three months ago. What I want to do is move all this mulch layer off because I want to find where the potatoes are growing. So first, I'm going to grab some gloves. See, here's the other one right here. Look at this. This thing's dead. So I have to harvest these potatoes now. So I'm going to follow these stems back right here and then over here and let's find out what happened to this potato and if there's some potatoes we can harvest. So let's go ahead and bring back some of this mulch. Let's get this out of the way. I want to expose this whole area. This is a new layer of mulch I just put down, so I don't want to ruin the whole look of my garden. It looks so nice right now with this ground up layer of wood chips. If you haven't already, go back, back and watch that video um, about how to use wood chips and the benefits. So that's one layer, then below that is another layer because I did multiple layers of mulch over the last few months. So I did this, put a lot of leaves down over, I kept mounding over the stems. So let's see what happened if that worked out. There's actually some kind of a pine needle type material here. This is from, a, it's actually a cypress tree. Italian cypress. So I'm going to put some of this in this bucket. Let's see what we got. See there's some wood chips I covered this in as well so there's a lot of wood chips. Still very damp. Oh look at that. Did you see what I just saw? Don't tell me, that's, is that a new potato? Yeah, that might be a potato. Let's see what kind of harvest we got here. I don't think that's the original potato. That's a new one. That's a whole, oh, that's a big one. That is a russet potato. I don't know about you, but that thing looks huge. So this is the first potato I've ever grown. So we're gonna do a little archeological dig and dig up this whole area and see what we can come across. But that thing is, that's like the biggest potato I've seen. It's like six inches long. I still have to keep digging down. I haven't seen the end of it. Um, so let me just keep digging here. So the thing is like the big as my hand. But this is a good way to use up extra space. If you're you have tight a tight area, you don't have much growth space, you can look underneath your fruit trees or any trees, and you have all this space usually under the bottom of the trees. So again, this was all done completely 100 percent by accident. I didn't, wasn't planning on growing potatoes. I just buried an old potato, um, thought really nothing, nothing of it. I thought the potato was kind of too old. All right, there's the stem right there. 
Let's dig some more over here. So I'm gonna take this extra mulch that I'm picking up, I'm gonna put it around these other potatoes. Make sure they have a good layer because this is the next harvest. So always think about succession planting. Once you bury one potato, then put another one in the ground, you know, a couple weeks later or a month later, whatever you feel like. So this will be my next harvest here. And here I buried, I think it was six or seven golden potatoes. You can go back and watch the video on planting what happens when you bury potatoes. And uh, this will be a real interesting one as well. Look at this thing. Whoa. There it is. Jeez. That thing is the size of like a football. It's pretty big. That thing's solid as a rock. Seriously, that is so dense. Let's see if we can grab some more. So maybe I only got one huge one. There's gotta be more. There has got to be more in here. There's so much suspense. Like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna get? Oh geez, look at those more worms. I mean this this multiple mulch and leaf layer. So again, leaves, um, layers of leaves, layers of different types of leaves, um, wood chips, shredded wood mulch, different trees in multiple layers and keeping it moist. Now right down here, this is where the you can see the original plant potato was buried. I'll cut to a clip and you'll see. Let's go down. Look at it's actually rotted out. Look at that. Ew. Okay, looks like right here. Oh, a very small one. All right, I'll dig a little bit more. I'll let you know what else I can find. And, all right. Okay, there's one, another little one. So that one's even smaller. Every time I get a smaller and smaller one. We thought we were gonna have a great harvest. And then we were just um, let down a little more each time. What do you think, pumpkin? Ooh, okay, there's a grub. Those things are really weird. I think that's it. Oh. Oh, wait. Look at that. Look at that. We got an even smaller one. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. What have we got here now? Oh, we got medium size and then we got a real small one. So, that one's like the size of a uh, marble. So that's quite a diversity. And we did get a little redemption. Not too bad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was kind of fun. And um, I'll let you know if I find some more in here that are worthwhile. So I guess that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys 
stay tuned. I'm going to be harvesting this one over here. I think we're going to get a lot more because I buried six potatoes in one spot. And I did this one um, in a little warmer weather, not right through the cold winter. So we're getting a lot more sun. So that should be interesting. In the meantime, stick around, you guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. So we'll see you guys next time. And peace. That's a big one. I mean, you never see anything that size when you go to the grocery store. Pure organic. Hard as rock. Is that even a potato? You gotta be kidding me. There's no way I got a, got a potato this small.